turn of special police units has cracked down on gangs intensifies six units will be in charge of maintaining law and order in the city let me see if his listed uh, said six units because uh, yesterday i saw reports of uh, even the rdu being deployed to deal with insecurity in the capital and yes uh, his report states that the new measures come barely 24 hours after the general service unit the rapid de deployment unit officers were deployed to patrol the streets and then he continues to say in total six units will be char in charge of maintaining law and order in the city and uh, the directorate of criminal investigations the all-female special weapons and tactics team and general duty officers attached to various patrol, uh, various police stations will be patrolling the streets. And I see the number five here. New Nairobi police uh, boss Adamson Bungay says new units will not have more than five officers each. So that is with regards to the security situation. You can find that report in its entirety uh, by Vincent Tachuka on page five of the Daily Nation. All right. So uh, let's now the machine was in the room uh, why why all this furore over the yala uh, nominations uh, why should kenyans care who represents them at the east african legislative assembly because i wonder do we feel it and i'll start with you tabitha uh, the yala assembly is uh, uh, an assembly that uh, uh, comprises of the, the east african countries and uh, as kenya we are part of uh, the east african uh, assembly and so our representation is very key uh, we need to have people who are representing us to open the different markets we need to to to, to use our id cards to be able to access the east african uh, uh, country so we need uh, people uh, who who have uh, the competency to be able to represent Kenya, our country, in the best way. We need people who are going to advo advocate uh, matters uh, a business. And so uh, we are at a point that we need to uh, put uh, or elect uh, people that uh, we know and we are confident that they are going to represent the interest of Kenyans, the interest of this country. So yes, uh, it's, uh, the, nom the nominees are there. We have 27 nominees. 15 from uh, Kenya Kwanzaa, uh, 12 from uh, Azimio. We need to uh, down that number to nine. Five from Kenya Kwanzaa and uh, four from Azimio. And uh, I'm happy to say that uh, yesterday we did our elections because uh, Kenya Kwanzaa, we are very organized. We, 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 we have the leadership of first sitting down and making agreements and agreeing. At, as, as we speak, we have our five candidates. We've agreed on them. Uh, we, are, we, are, we are pushing the agenda today in the House. We are going to uh, ensure that we unanimously uh, vote for our candidates. So we, we are actually ahead. We've, we've finished on that particular agenda. Uh, as the team is still campaigning, yes, they are allowed to do that. And uh, yeah, we are still going to vote for the candidates that we feel they are going to represent our country yeah, as expected. Uh, uh, she says Kenya Kwanza is organized them. They are, they've, they've, they've sorted themselves. Uh, she says they're clear on who their five are. Correct. Um, but this report here talks about a trap uh, that has been set. This report is by who? Onyango, Konyango, and Samuel Owino. And uh, it talks of Ruto sets trap for Raila and Kalonzo in Yala uh, seats race. Uh, what do you make of it? I don't know what they mean by trap, but um, uh, we have our candidates as well. Uh, Kenya Kwanza may be smart, they say so, but uh, that is not for them to say. Other people should say for them. But uh, if it's self-praise, we are even smarter, I think so. Uh, <laughs> that is Kenya, uh, that is Azimio. Uh, the trap that people are talking, maybe because Winnie is uh, Raila's daughter, and maybe because Kennedy is uh, Kalonzo's son. Is maybe that is what they're saying as a trap, and whether they are going to be voted in or not, uh, maybe that is what is being considered as a trap. I'm not too sure who ever used that word, but there's no trap to me because I think uh, these two individuals also do have a right to be uh, to present themselves for for nomination. And uh, I remember Winnie herself saying that she too has a right, and I was very impressed because she knows her right. You could be the daughter or the son of a, an important person, but does that deny you your right? 
So I think they too have a right to contest and be elected. I wouldn't see it as a trap. I would not see it as a favor. They're facing competition just like any other. So to me, they're on the right track, not <laughs> trap.